everybody. I'm Dr. K, creator of LiftHardPlayHard.com and author of BackInjuryGuide.com. I'm so glad that you had the time to join me today for another low back strengthening exercise. Remember, when we're discussing low back stability as a specific intention with exercise, we're doing this for two reasons. One, sometimes it's smart to slow things down a bit and work on joint stability to be sure that you're protecting your joints in the long run. This way you can stay in the gym longer, get better results, and I don't mean longer, more minutes in the gym, I mean longer in the next course of a couple of years to come so that you stay healthy. The second reason is, in the U.S. population, it's a great example, over 50% of the U.S. population has some sort of low back pain. Interestingly enough, through the proper exercise program, over 80% of those with low back pain will spontaneously heal simply from doing proper exercise without physical therapy, without chiropractic, without any sort of medical management. The numbers are too strong to just let go of. So commit to cardiovascular exercise if you suffer from low back pain, make sure it's pain free, and be smart with your exercise program. Today let's take a different take on the plank. You see, when you plank normally, you're just going for a good abdominal squeeze, you're really working hard, you're sweating it out, and if you break form a little bit, you're trying to correct, but you know what, you did the best you could. Now, in this case, we're going to see the plank from a totally different light. This time, it's elbows underneath shoulders, forearms flat against the ground, shoulder width apart. From here, we're going to start with a wide plank position. In this wide plank position, what I'm going to do is actually point my toes, my big toes, into the ground lightly so I can feel tension in my groin muscles and inner leg. From here, I'm going to step in slightly and repeat. Step in slightly and repeat until I make my way in about two to three reps all the way so that my feet are almost together and my heels are clapping. Then I'm going to move out and repeat until I hit failure. You see, the difference here is, even though you might see a little bit more of a hump in terms of my body position, the difference is I have a light flexion bias, so I've really engaged my abdominals, and now I'm choosing muscles above my pelvis and below my pelvis to really stabilize that spine together and make sure it doesn't move. So when it comes to low back strengthening exercise, sometimes you just move off the norm by a little bit to create phenomenal results. Again, I'm Dr. K, creator of LiftHardPlayHard.com and author of BackInjuryGuide.com, and I'm really glad we spent some time together today. Have a great day.